So should I give an introduction about myself, sir? Yeah, sure. You can introduce yourself. Okay. So uh, I'm Ashreyas, and um, uh, I'm from back from Bangalore, and I came this and uh, this year to uh, like a study in George Washington University. I'm studying my master's in data science actually. Okay. So I wanted to be ready um, in the future so that uh, I want to apply through internships and uh, job opportunities, right? So I want to be ready in machine learning and uh, in that, and it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, deep learning. So I that, that's why I was following you since a long time. If you see my messages, uh, I have been messaging you since uh, uh, May, March. So I, I also told you I'm very much interested in your end-to-end -end machine learning thing. If you, you know, so that's why as soon as you put up the post, I have asked you about this. <laughs> okay, okay, that's really great. Uh, and I was also thinking to start a course from a long time. However, due to my tight schedule and all the activities, I wasn't uh, getting the time. But however, right mm -hmm. now I did start with the course as per the request and demands of the students. So I did started the two courses: machine learning also and deep learning also. So there will be one day machine learning uh, lecture, another day there will be deep learning lecture. Okay, uh, so all okay. the lecture series are uh, in alternative. Uh, uh, however, if you are interested, stress. Uh, so you can uh, you know go uh, with the bo both of them okay so you can in uh, three months you will go to cover all the concepts however let's get started with the machine learning first okay, okay. so uh, if you talk about learning uh, uh, Shreyas, uh, first of all i just want to let you know that uh, we have developed the machines basically and it's not it's not a new thing uh, for us if you talk about the machines it was just like past 50 60 years and uh, we have developed the machines okay and uh, the purpose of development of these machines is to perform the computations okay some calculations we need to do okay so uh, we developed them and uh, as per uh, the years are been passing the technology has been going to be advanced so uh, previously there was a big hall or a, you know a room for keeping the machines to do some small computations only some small computations but the right now we are capable in in the technology that we can compute millions of instructions in a fraction of seconds microseconds or nanoseconds because the reason is now your chip industry has been uh, uh, enlarged a lot and the device's size has been getting smaller and the computing power is getting much more higher we are also having good um, memory availability also in the devices okay we are having other kind of services also for example cloud services in which that means we just say that uh, we are having right now enough space for the memory or unlimited whatever we will say so we are uh, now having good computational capabilities also we are having good uh, resources related to the memory also so uh, but the point is now though we are available with all this stuff uh, the challenges are also growing parallelly okay why because the reason is if we are dependent on these machines and obviously our main goal was uh, to uh, solve our problems and we want quick results so that is the reason we have developed these machines and uh, we are uh, doing all those stuffs over it okay so uh, now what happened is as we are dependent upon the machine so we thought okay uh, why don't we make machine intelligent so that it will give us uh, the answers also reply also it will suggest also it will recommend also okay so whatever uh, be which we are thinking as a human being to do we want machines to do all uh, the stuff okay so uh, you know that right now automation has been um, a lot and if uh, as as you told that you are in a us you have already seen uh, what is the progress and uh, what uh, wh where we are okay so uh, looking at the challenges in a real world we are not sticked here only we are also looking for the space technology and the different other activities we are going to explore science and exploration everything uh, we are uh, in uh, now a thought process that as much as we can uh, you know get succeed with all this stuff so the point here is it came into the existence of these technologies like artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning so artificial intelligence before that i want uh, I, I go with the ai since it's a part of a learning so 
the first thing is what does a learning basically means see learning is a process it's a process that leads to a change why uh, how it will give you a change it will give you a change on the result of your experiences okay so whatever you are doing okay whatever activity you are doing you are getting experience by it by doing it you are gaining experience and by those experience you are making it learn okay you are understanding okay if i do this i will get this if i do that i will um, i will get that okay so uh, a process it's a continuous process basically learning it's not like um, i i learn today and i will not uh, do anything uh, later on no it's not it's not uh, learning is a continuous process and why we are going to learn why you have joined my class because for learning only okay because you want to bring a change in yourself okay so uh, and obviously i will share my experience to you and uh, you will uh, utilize those experience you will have your experience also and you will utilize those experiences in uh, performing uh, some uh, solutions to the problems and you will get the results obviously uh, uh, your performance and uh, the system in which you are working whatsoever they will be definitely um, get a, a returns okay there will be an outcome so a learning is a change basically okay now comes the intelligence if you are learning you are getting the experiences what does ex an intelligence means okay to be uh, very general if you talk about the intelligence of ourselves it is a capacity of abstraction that means you know you are going to refine the things abstraction um uh, that means just uh, looking for the essential features okay out of a uh, huge um, uh, stuff or um, uh, uh, if we just say abstract means to get only uh, those uh, points or those concepts which are been necessary for us essential thing essential features for the logic development okay that means um, uh, what should be done what should not be done so just thinking logically okay some critical thinking understanding so understanding should have to be there if you are intelligent you should be uh, you know able to understand what the problem statement is basically if you are able to understand it correctly if you have a logic uh, to solve that particular uh, thing if you can develop the logics how to solve it how to crack that particular problem obviously you you are said to be an intelligent person self awareness you should be aware of what should i do and what shouldn't i do which has been uh, good for me which is not been good for me so you should be self aware then only you are called as an intelligent if you are doing rubbish things okay unnecessary things then you are not an intelligent that means it's a complete wastage of time next learning obviously i told that what is a learning it's a uh, it's a continuous process you should have a emotional knowledge basically i just cover it as uh, it will call as a knowledge okay that means you should have some findings over the task which you are been doing okay so knowledge knowledge is, uh, is something which is very much important reasoning planning okay you should add some creativity to your work okay it should be you know differentiate between uh, you and the others okay how much creative you are okay so i already told about the critical thinking okay that means you should give a reasoning you should develop a logics okay and you should give basically an approach how to solve a particular problem so skills basically i should call it as a skills so if you are having all these capabilities you are said to be an intelligent okay so uh, this is basically for a human human intelligence i am talking about okay if you are um, a logical person if you are self aware if you are having a knowledge if you plan your task if you are having creativity if you are having good thinking if you are you are if you are having a skills okay so you are obviously an intelligent person and right now uh, the people who uh, look uh, in any one uh, is the intelligence okay how much successful that person is that is been rated on the basis okay yaar uh, this this is intelligent and uh, he is getting this much good scores and he is placed okay and he can solve many of the problems and he can give good views and ideas intelligent now the point here is uh, if i would say intelligence and now the next term came as artificial intelligence okay what is this artificial see we are uh, we are the humans we are the real person okay we are the re re reality we are uh, we live in this real world okay so we are intelligent okay so now the case is 
making machine intelligent why because we have developed our machine to solve the problems ultimately and the intelligence is the same thing because we whoever is called as an intelligent okay uh, obviously problem solving skills okay that's why we call him uh, intelligent success okay so uh, this person is very much successful he is intelligent his behavior is very nice so obviously we have developed machine for this purpose only this kind of purpose only so ultimately we want to feed intelligence we want to make the machine machine and intelligent so artificial intelligence it is basically simulation of human intelligence okay we want machine to have a same or compatible kind of intelligence in them also okay ultimately we want to make a machine intelligent this is what our goal so we want to program a machine in such a way that it will copy our actions okay it will copy copy our ideas our thinking our capabilities if machine can understand what is right what is wrong with the help of a coding with the help of a programming okay so obviously the machine will now be called as an intelligent okay so we need to apply all this stuff to the machine to exhibit the traits associated with the humans okay whatever we are doing whatever the activities which we are doing uh, the machine should uh, copy the same stuff and keep on learning itself keep on updating itself okay and solve the problems so what our goal of developing machine for the problem solving only okay and we people obviously we are living in the world we are having too many problems okay so ultimately we need a solution either we do uh, so go for a solution or rather we will let a machine to do the solution so the better thing is let the machine to do the solution because they are having high computational uh, capabilities okay so let them do as per the current scenario so this is ai so artificial intelligence is the ability to rationalize and take actions whatever the best uh can be possible and to achieve the goal okay whatever the goal whatever the task which you need to do the best possible action the machine should decide by itself that i need to do uh this task i will follow this particular path and solve that particular task okay this is how we can set uh, uh the intelligence in a machine okay now if you talk about machine learning machine learning so how how will machine will go into be an intelligent it's not like that everything will go in an ar and machine will become intelligent no this is not the possibility machine can only be become intelligent by the same things which we have discussed being a part of an intelligent a machine should have a capability of doing the logics machine should have a capability of understanding machine should have a knowledge machine should apply reasoning technique machine should be uh, following the critical thinking and then only uh, i would say the machine can solve a problem then only machine is called as an intelligent before that you can't say a machine is intelligent and obviously this requires a learning because learning by with the help of an experience then only someone decide that what to do and what not to do okay so machine learning we want a machine to learn with the help of experiences okay so how a machine will learn with the help of an experience we human uh, know okay we are having day to day challenges we are learning continuously how machine will learn okay so what is this basically a machine learning uh, means see ml is a subset of artificial intelligence ml comes under ai only and deep learning comes and uh, comes under machine learning it's a just uh, we, uh, the difference between uh, them is of your data basically that i will discuss ahead okay so machine learning refers to the concept in which we make computer programs can automatically learn and adapt to new data okay adapt to new data without being intervention of the humans because we don't want here e humans to interfere we just want machine to learn by itself uh, itself and uh, adapt new data also whatever the data has been coming just adapt themselves uh, according to the new data change perform a transition according to the new data that will be a new experiences okay and then uh, perform your operations okay so how how is this going to happen see uh, machine learning systems learns from the historical data okay machine learning whatever the data set we are available with with any kind of the topic uh, for which we are working for okay we are available with the data so data here keeps importance what is data a data is a raw facts and a figure okay raw facts and a figure it can be anything uh, uh, which we have recorded okay that can be any kind of the data 
okay whether it is a text whether it is an audio whether it is a video whether it is an image or whatsoever we every we call all these stuff as a data so data is a raw fact and figure here we are talking about a historical data that means we have already available with an experience historical data means we are already available with the experience okay now we need to feed this data into the machine okay and let the machine to perform some uh, you know modeling okay modeling this i want to feed this data to the machine and make then this machine to learn with this particular data so that my machine will get trained next okay my machine will get trained okay after receiving this data after understanding this data and then if we feed a new data to it then machine will give a response according to what uh, it has been trained with this kind of stuff okay so machine will go into next performing the prediction or any kind of uh, activity which has been uh, we have modeled for then it will be going to give you the reply or the responses okay so uh, suppose we are having a complex problem and we need to perform the predictions over it okay so uh, instead of writing a code for it we just need to feed the data into the algorithms into the machine learning algorithms we will train our model on the basis of those algorithms and later we can apply uh, the new data to your uh, trained model of the machine learning okay and obviously we can get the results okay so here is an approach which has been followed by the machine learning input past data okay whatever the data set which you are available with give it to the machine learning algorithm okay here you give for the training purpose okay and what are this machine learning algorithm are we are going to study ahead okay so right now we are going to perform the learning for the machine learning um, algorithms okay here the learning will take place or training will be done then after training your model will get i would i would say it as a trained model okay so building logical models now your model will uh, be having ability to perform logics why because your model got trained with the data and now if you feed any new data it new data to it accordingly the data with which you have trained a compatible data if you give it as an input to perform the predictions obviously you your model whatever your uh, whatever it has learned it will going to give you the output or it will going to give you the result so this is the flow chart or a diagram block diagram of your working of machine learning okay so here we are not uh, going to like just like uh, doing a code or writing a big program for all uh, this kind of predictions we need to do uh, here the point is your data keeps importance okay so what are the features of machine learning see machine learning uses data to detect various patterns in the data set okay what are the patterns which are available in the data set what are the different combinations which are available in the data set your machine learning is going to utilize it okay it learns from the past data or i would say whatever the data which has been available with you right now currently we are going to utilize that data we, we are going to feed that data in a machine learning algorithm it is going to learn from that okay so ultimately it is called as a data driven technology okay so here everything which is going to be get started as you are also been a student of uh, you know data science okay so the word data comes first then science came whether you are a student of data science or data analyst or whatsoever okay whether you are a machine learning engineer or ai data data is everything here if you are having a data then only you can apply uh, whatever the skills or whatever the technology over it okay so data is important so this is also a data driven technology if you are not available with the data okay nothing you can do data is required okay it is similar to the data mining or uh, data mining uh, uh, here uh, in case of uh, this topic data mining we need to refine our data we need to uh, analyze our data there are also various uh, algorithms which are used in data mining okay and uh, we explore uh, the results by doing all the mining or analysis or refining of the data this comes under data mining so machine learning is similar it's quite similar to your data mining also okay what is the need why you are here to learn the machine learning why, what made you to learn the machine learning and why we are behind uh, for this technology see the reason behind we need a machine learning to make it capable of doing the task and the complex task basically which is difficult for us 
for humans to do it in a limited amount of time okay for example as a human we have limitations okay and we cannot access the huge amount of data manually and uh, do the calculations and then decide that whether this will be uh, going to occur or whether uh, or it's not going to happen or not no okay it will be difficult for our uh, being as a human to perform this task and i have already told we have developed machine for this purpose only to perform the computations okay to solve our task problem solving this is this was the purpose for us okay so here also the same we need uh, the machine learning because we need to solve day by day okay all the day by day task okay so for that we can train our machine learning algorithms okay and provide the huge amount of data to them we can construct models we can perform the predictions and get the output automatically we do not so our problem is solved okay whatever the results uh, which we think what what could be uh, this will be better that create a model train it by the older data feed the data and get the result this is a simple task okay so um, the importance of machine learning relies in very uh, in many of the use cases okay many of the use cases like uh, machine learning can is been right now used in self driving cars various kinds of detection okay that means it could be like fraud, cyber fraud detection credit card uh, fraud detection okay it can be used for brain tumor detection it can be used for breast cancer detection it can be used for face recognition uh, friend suggestions by the facebook okay and various other top companies like netflix amazon and all these they are using the machine learning techniques deep learning techniques uh, behind okay it can, we can also have a recommendation system for example netflix recommendation system okay amazon also perform the recommendation system what product you need to buy ultimately whatever uh, it also learns from your experiences what uh, on the website of amazon what you are searching what is your interested the interest they are recording each and everything in the that is a data for them that is a valuable data for them next time they are going to show you the recommendations same thing with the netflix what is your interest what kind of movies do you watch okay so they are learning from your experiences and next time they are sh started showing you the products they are started showing the, you the movies whatsoever okay so they all are following the same approach machine learning okay so uh, there are some key points which we should uh, understand related to the machine learning this rapid increment in the production of data see data every activity every activity relates to data for example if i do talk about this class okay obviously a data is there i have shared you google meet link okay this lecture is recorded i have prepared one document see how much data has been there this document is a data our recording will be a data okay a google meet uh, link has been created obviously at a server of the google okay a link has been created there also been uh, a data so how much data every activity involves a data okay and once you are having a problem any any complex problem which you are being uh, being as a human and you think it is difficult to solve obviously we call machine okay machine we have trained you come on solve this particular problem decision making uh decision making getting uh, giving some uh, suggestions looking for some ideas for uh, some uh, um, any kind of domain whether you are working for whether you are working in a banking whether you are working in a finance or whether you are working of any of the sector industry or any of the sector uh, industry uh, machine learning will help you to give a decision making capability okay finding hidden patterns in the data okay uh, data as i told it it can be in a raw format okay so uh, the point is if i need to extract what could be the pattern what could be the relationship what is the correlation among the data so i can find the patterns with the help of a machine learning and i can extract Uh, those relevant features from the data okay which is will really helpful or which is been beneficial uh, beneficial for us for the later cases okay so this is these are the following key points which uh, which makes machine learning important okay now the next case is uh, uh, machine learning as i told that it can be used for solving various business problems like regression classification forecasting 
clustering associations okay so regression that means if you need to perform some prediction predictive analysis i want to do either i want to perform some classification okay whether this or that or whatsoever classification forecasting okay that means i need to forecast whether the rain will be going to ha happen or not how how will be uh, the weather weather could be so forecasting so time series something like that okay clustering i, can, I if i need to cluster the data okay okay th this belong these these are the group of people grouping of the data perform the cluster okay so uh, just preparing groups that is called as a clustering okay of the data points then association if you need to find association between what are the rules what are the logics behind uh, you know how the data are being associated with each other so we can do with the help of associations so these are basically the techniques which are being applied in machine learning uh, we are having algorithms which are based upon these techniques okay so uh, here we can say machine learning is divided into four main types if someone say how many types of machine learning are so supervised learning unsupervised learning semi supervised learning and reinforced learning these are the four types of machine learning here is the chart for them supervised unsupervised semi supervised and the reinforced learning okay we will discuss each and every one each and every of them in a detail supervised learning if i would say supervised the name itself suggest what does a supervised mean so supervised means there is a supervisor okay that means for example i am teaching you here i am guiding you okay so i am supervisor okay so the kind of learning which you are taking currently is a supervised kind of learning so what happens here in case of supervised learning we train the machines using labeled data okay labeled data set that means that means the labeled data is something which is having inputs which are already mapped with the output that means whatever the data set you are available with it comprises of the features that is the input okay and it also have the output related to it that means you already know what result or what outcome uh, is been going uh, to be uh, have what what we are going to have here okay if this is the data this will be the outcome that means already your data is labeled with the output so if we feed this kind of data to the machine then the kind of learning which we are following is a supervised learning okay so more precisely we can say that we train the machine with the input with the corresponding output okay and then we ask the machine to predict the output over your choice of data set with the same set of features as like of the input okay then you will ask the machine whether uh, uh, whether this will happen or that will happen okay so here the goal of the supervised learning is to map the input data with the output data okay so mapping will be done okay and uh, as i already told that student is learning under the supervision of the teacher so this is an obviously it's a super supervised kind of learning example is a spam filtering there are other examples also for example house price prediction medical imaging these are the examples of supervised learning okay where we can perform classification also and regression also so classification and regression these two are the cases of supervised learning so spam filtering i would say uh, we are available with various emails okay and uh, i need to find i need to classify whether this is uh, this email is a spam or not this is the task i need to do so this comes under the category of spam filtering okay the classification spam or not spam okay so you are available with the data set whether if you are working with the house price prediction also you are available with multiple feature related to the house and one column will be there that will be the price okay so you will feed this data to your uh, model okay the model will get trained with this data and then later on you can perform the prediction what could be the price of house with this these features this you can do okay so you will not have to crack your mind as a human okay or what could be i no 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 com, no calculations from your side once your model get trained automatically it will start giving you the results okay so it comprises of classification and regression regression basically it's a prediction thing 
for example i told you about host press prediction and a classification comes under the category of for example spam filtering whether your uh, email uh, which has been available a uh, message which came to you is a spam or not spam okay this is one of the example now the next is unsupervised learning the name itself suggests there is no supervisor here okay there is no instructor here now you are the authority of yourself you need to learn from yourself so uh, if you are not joining my class then what you will going to do sir uh, i will learn uh, machine learning from myself like i will look out for various video tutorials i will look out for various articles sir i will check out various books so whatever the resources uh, available uh, to me i will look out for all of them and i will start learning from myself i will prepare the notes and this is how my learning will be going to be so this is unsupervised kind of learning where the data set available to you is unlabeled that means you are not been given the output of the data okay so that is an unlabeled data so you need to train your model with that particular data set only which is not labeled okay and uh, your model acts on the data on that data without any supervision okay since your data is unlabeled so here the machine learning tries to insights to it tries to find the insights with this huge amount of data which you have given to it and there are two basically tasks can be performed with your unsupervised learning that is clustering and the association so here your machine learning algorithm or the model or a technique i whatever you would say it can perform two tasks either it can perform the clustering over the data that means it can organize the data into various groups depending upon uh, their uh, weights okay weights or i would say that means depending upon their behavior whatsoever they are been doing so it can uh, organize the points in various clusters or it can perform the association okay that means it can perform the reasoning or you know logic building or the rules or the relationship between the data so it can perform the association okay so these two things clustering and association they are strictly related to your data mining because in data mining clustering and association plays an important role so that's why i have already told about that machine learning is somehow what related to data mining also so unsupervised learning Uh, will give you the cases of data mining okay so what algorithms are been covered under classification that is your supervised what algorithms will come under unsupervised that we will see ahead but right now we are just understanding the concept what they basically means now the next thing is your semi supervised learning for example you know if you ask me sir what can you give the examples of unsupervised learning for example uh, you can have your customer segmentation and market basket analysis customer segmentation means uh, i need to decide whether the customer will come back to me or not what are the purchasing done by the customer okay ultimately i need to look out for the behavior of the customer okay so this is called as customer segmentation behavior customer behavior you need to analyze its behavior okay what are the purchasing and uh, uh, whether uh, i will i would retain my customer or not market basket analysis see market basket analysis means for again the same thing for example uh, someone goes to the shopping uh, market and uh, shopping mall okay and uh, he or she purchases one of the product then uh, he or she purchases another product then another product okay so for example we would say if someone purchases a milk then what is the chances uh, that the, uh, he or she will also purchase um the the bread and what is the chances that he or she also purchases the um, uh, um, I, i would say uh, cheese okay so just a relationship we just trying to mark the relationship between the products according to the purchasing behavior of the customer so this is market basket analysis okay if this one per, if a, a customer purchases this what is the probability that the customer also purchases this so i'm just trying to find the patterns i just trying to find the association between okay this is associated this product is associated to this this product is associated to this just trying to find the patterns between them okay so market basket analysis okay now the next case is your semi supervised see semi supervised 
लाइज बिटवीन योर सुपरवाइज एंड अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग ओके दैट मीन्स हियर इट यूजेज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लेबल्ड डेटा एंड अनलेबल्ड डेटा बोथ ओके ड्यूरिंग द ट्रेनिंग पीरियड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द एनालिसिस बाय यूजिंग बोथ बोथ ऑफ द थिंग्स लेबल्ड एंड अनलेबल्ड ओके एस वॉट बेसिकली इज बिन डन हियर सेमी सुपरवाइज लर्निंग इन द मिडिल ग्राउंड between supervised and unsupervised and it operates on the data consists of few labels it mostly consists of unlabeled data so if you would say sir how much percent of the data will be labeled and how much percent of the data will be unlabeled so here the point is some of the data has been labeled and most of the data is unlabeled okay the reason is the labeling the label of the data is costly okay so we can have some labels we can uh, we are available with the data which is having some labels so we can utilize the, those labels of the data and then we can further uh, go ahead to perform your modeling task okay so how we can say that what could be the example of semi supervised for example text classification text classification for example you are available with a huge amount of data okay in which some of the data is been uh, available to you in a form of a labeled okay whether uh, for example if i i would say i am available with the data of twitter okay and i need to classify uh, the sentiment okay that whether uh, they are good or whether they are bad sentiment related to the text which has been uh, given in a tweet okay good or bad sentiment okay so uh, i this good and bad is a labeled thing this is labeled because i already know that uh, this is the output related to the sentiment now if my but i am available with some amount of data for the sentiment i need to analyze for the other another set of data which is unlabeled okay so i will utilize this particular concept that uh, some of my data is already labeled okay and then i will uh, switch it further for the unlabeled data so it, it will be combination of both of them okay because labeling of this huge amount of data is a you know hectic task okay it requires time so if you are available with some data which has been labeled so we can perform semi supervised learning over it okay however basically in machine learning supervised and unsupervised these two learnings plays an important role however um, there are other types also as we are discussing that is semi supervised next will be reinforced learning okay so this is the case with the text classification and lean finding on the gps data there are uh, see how the gps going to work how the gps we are available with some data we are having some points whose information is been available and later on it will continue keep on updating itself some labels we are available uh, with okay and later on whatever the modifications going to be done so we are keep on modifying and training our data with a new set of data so there could be labeled also there could be unlabeled data also in case of semi semi supervised learning okay now the next thing is your reinforcement learning reinforcement learning see what happens is uh, there are certain agents ai agents ai agents means for example sensors i talk about sensors or the cameras which are continuously monitoring you which are continuously monitoring your activities what you are doing okay and they are capturing your each and every of this task and they are saving all this in a form of a data okay so uh, you know they are called as an ai agent as there could be uh, hardware and software components okay which uh, look out for all what you are doing they are saving in their database they are applying some reasoning some logical uh, or some uh, any kind of algorithm they are performing over it and then they are giving the output or the results um, accordingly what they have captured and what uh they have learned by all uh, this uh, logics and this reasoning and uh, this uh, whatever the algorithms related to it from it for example uh, uh, we are uh, in our mobiles we are having okay google which has been uh, performing the same task like this it keeps quiet okay unless and until you don't ask any of the question to it okay so it keeps quiet it it is it is continuously monitoring your activity what you are doing on your mobile 
okay and it has been uh, learning from your activity so uh, whatever you are doing it's been this 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 software okay it's been keep on learning whatever you are doing okay and whenever you ask okay google just um, give me the results accordingly it will give you start giving you recommendations or the answers or whatever so this application has been continuously active in your system, uh, mobile and it's keep on learning alexa what does alexa is doing see alexa is also applying reasoning uh, reasoning logic what are your interest okay so these kind of systems they have a self learning capability so ai agents ai softwares what they are they continuously monitoring the activities keep update um, fetch the data okay fetch the data and get trained accordingly to the uh, programming which they are been done so they are ultimately capturing your activities your interests everything they are capturing and then they are doing uh, re response accordingly so this is reinforced learning okay so i would say in reinforced learning that is self driving cars okay robotic dog or whatsoever automatically learns on the movements of his arms and what so automatically automatically i would say uh, just by uh, looking at the environment understanding the environment understanding the system they are performing their task okay so any doubt till uh, any doubt um nothing else it's like uh, it was a really good understanding different uh, concepts of machine learning where uh, it has been divided into four types yeah it was good until now okay okay now we check about the history of machine learning see um before some years like 40 50 years of machine uh, science fiction as i told that machines came into existence 50 50 years back or 50 60 years back only okay so um machine learning is making our day to day life very much easy because um, now we are living in a world of automation okay as i already told that uh, we are updated with both hardwares and the softwares okay and you very well know about self driving cars okay a test has been going on related to amazon virtual assistant or google virtual assistant um, alexa most of them they have installed alexa at their home and uh, uh, this alexa is giving reply responses this is quite interesting also okay so uh, you know this comes into the piece this came in, into the piece from 1940s only okay because i already told in initial point itself that we have developed machines to solve our problem that's it that was the only goal so this ai machine learning though uh, you know we keep on getting updated ourselves getting into the core so we get started with ai then machine learning and now with the deep learning at this current stage okay so in 1834 the charles babbage okay that is the father of the computer at this particular time he developed uh, this machine that could uh, be programmed with the punch cards okay in 1936 alan turing give a very, this is a breakthrough it gives a theory how a machine can determine and execute on the instructions so that is tuning you can say na no, turing machines i hope you uh, know if you have um, uh, Uh, studied about the theory of computation so alan turing so there are turing machines uh, here he give a concept that how a machine can determine execute a set of instructions in 1940s enac was the computer which has been in, uh, invented that is called as electronic general purpose computer general purpose computer means which can solve your day to day task that is a general purpose your basic problems which can be solved okay some basic computation which can be done so in 1940s itself uh, enac has been invented 43 a human neural network model with an electrical circuit 1943 if we talk about a uh, artificial intelligence 1943 only human neural network has been developed so much long so much uh, you know scientists started applying their idea and they started work upon how human uh, neurons for example our brain so the concept of in case of the concept of deep learning they are completely replicating the structure of a human brain just like artificial neural network or the deep learning complete replication of your human brain in 15 alan turing published a seminar paper that is computer machinery and intelligence okay and this is how your artificial intelligence came into picture and in 1950 only this how much intelligent this person alan will be uh, he told uh, that how can machines think he gave a question At, at that time only can machine also think then in 52 your uh, 
program has been created. IBM machine schemes in, into the pic, uh, picture to play the checker games. Okay, so game theory will uh, also came here. 59, machine learning was first coined by Arthur Samuel. So machine learning is not a right now. It's not a new concept. In 1959, only machine learning came. So we are right now living in 2020 to 59. I would say 60 years back. If I just go, machine learning was already coined. And uh, in the duration of 74 to 80, there was a tough time for AI and ML researchers. This duration is called as AI winter because the, the researchers or the scientists, they are under a thinking mode. Okay, why? Because the reason was there was a failure of machine translation occurred and the people has reduced their interest from AI because th this time was a quite challenging uh, for the scientists. Because uh, programming languages also came, uh, C, C, uh, A, 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 Algol, then Basic, then C, then uh, C++, and all the program languages are, are, were coming. Okay, and uh, they were working on how to solve uh, the problems by these co coding on these programming languages. Operating system were uh, also been developed. However, their idea of artificial intelligence and machine uh, machine learning they was not been getting successful too much as they are expected uh, in 1959 the first neural network was applied to a real world problem okay and uh, 85 they uh, the scientists developed a neural network called as net talk which is able to teach itself how correctly to pronounce 20,000 words in one week. So in 85 or, uh, itself, they have developed a neural network. That means a neuron, ba neuron based system. A neuron is an element. Okay, it's a node. It's like a node which has a capability to transfer uh, your um, the data from. Uh, from one layer to the another layer to the next neurons so all the computation has been done on the layers with the help of a neuron only okay so in 1985 so this is basically concept of deep learning in 1985 itself net talk came in 1997 deep blue intelligent computer won the chess game ibms has created a computer and right now this is just like a kids kids thing okay playing uh, chess with a machine uh, I, I think this kind of application is um, you can uh, easily install uh, in your uh, mobile phone also you can play the chess with the machine okay so this works with concept of machine intelligence still coming to the 21st century we are right now in uh, this century in 2006 computer science scientists gave a name a neural net research deep learning Okay, deep learning. Nowadays, it is a most trending technology. Why? Because machine learning is having limitations. Okay, uh, and I did discuss about these limitations in my yesterday's lecture when I was uh, uh, talking about the deep learning. Okay, so there are, uh, but uh, being as a part of machine learning for this uh, syllabus, I am not going to tell you right now what are uh, the limitations. Once we will do the complete machine learning, then I will put your remark with the limitations but right now machine learning is good okay so uh, deep learning is a trending technology in 2006 uh, it has been came into uh, your idea thought process in 2012 google created a deep learning neural network to recognize the image of humans okay so and at that particular time google took an interest in 2010 uh, there was imagenet developed imagenet uh, is a huge collection of images of various categories ab about 20000 categories of various uh, different objects cats dogs and uh, many 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 more okay so imagenet comes into existence this make a google to to take an interest over this kind of stuff Okay, so in 2012, Google created a deep neural, uh, network to recognize the image of humans and the cats in a YouTube video. So image classification has been came into picture in 2010 itself. So we are dealing with the problems. We are dealing, working with the projects related to the image classification, object detection. I hope you have seen my content also on the LinkedIn. I do work upon that computer vision basically. Okay, so deep learning uh, here works with uh, computer vision, NLP, most of uh, all, all these tasks where the data set is not been limited. It's been a huge, okay. And we are going to work with the images and the videos. Uh, so obviously not machine learning is not capable enough to work upon that. Deep learning is required. Okay, in 2014, chatbot has been developed. Okay, this first chatbot who convinced 33% of the human judges. 
ओके चैटबोर्ट इज ऑल्सो बिन डेवलप्ड डी फेस वॉज अ डीप न्यूरल नेटवर्क क्रिएटेड बाई फेसबुक देखते हैं इट कुड रिकोगनाइज अ पर्सन विद द सेम प्रोसीजन एज अ ह्यूमन कैन डू ओके सो अगेन जस्ट वी आर मेकिंग अवर मशीन इंटेलिजेंट टू रिकोगनाइज फेसेज ऑल्सो अल्फा गो बीट्स अ वर्ल्ड नंबर वन सेकेंड प्लेयर सेकेंड प्लेयर दैट मीन्स आदर इट इज बीन रिलेटेड टू द चेस और वॉट सो एवर ओके सो नाउ मशीन इज ऑल्सो बीन केपेबल इनफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग इनफ लर्निंग इनफ गेटिंग अ नॉलेज दैट वॉट मूव दे शुड बी डूइंग एज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट वी आर ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल विद दिस गेम्स एंड एप्लीकेशंस and they are beating the players also top players also in 2017 they um, alphabet 600 team build an intelligence system that is able to learn online trolling okay if someone is going to troll that means it is related to the text that's what i was uh, telling about your twitter okay trolling online trolling system uh, checking that uh, this person is uh, the, this these are the words which has been used in the text so they are performing the trolling okay so at least at least this means that we are understanding the sentiment also okay whatever the person has been writing sentiment analysis so till 2017 this is the scenario and at present we are already working with lot and lot of things we are right now moved ahead with the deep learning and we are uh, a lot of uh, algorithm new techniques has been came with uh, they are having uh, their own architecture they are working capability so deep learning it works upon your input layer output layer hidden layers okay and uh, all these techniques which are related to the deep learning they are having their architecture based upon this only so cnn i hope you have heard about cnn rnn that is convolution neural network recurrent neural network they um, are the part of the deep learning we get started with ann that is artificial neural network okay so uh, right now at present we are having lot of uh, work to do lot of research is going on and we are getting success also with that okay if we talk about the applications of machine learning where you are going to apply the machine learning see machine learning is everywhere okay you can apply machine layer uh, machine learning in image recognition okay as i already told you about you are available with uh, many images and if you want to perform the recognition okay so uh, and this is not a new concept you have purchased a mobile and uh, you know that when you are going to click any of the picture uh, it automatically create the bounding boxes on the faces okay and it is uh, it automatically also letting you know what could be the age of this person and it is automatically also telling whether this is male or a female so how this is going to do obviously machine learning this is ai only okay so image recognition identification of the objects person places digital images that is it's a part of a computer vision okay so obviously it has some recognition algorithm behind it there is obviously an algorithm working on it there is a technique there is an approach there is a proper code which has been running to perform the detection of the faces to perform the detection of the objects okay so obviously there is some technology behind it speech recognition search by voice you very well know about this thing we can lock our phone on the basis of the voice okay so we can recognize speech we can recognize text okay everything we can do uh, uh, because data can be in any format na no? data can be audio data can be video data can be image data can be text whatsoever data can be in any form so if you need to perform the recognition of speech or text or whatsoever uh, google uh, has an option search by voice also that's what i told you okay google just open okay google and uh, click on um, your voice option and, and uh, you um, ask something obviously that means it has been recognizing your voice it has been recognizing what words you are speaking it is giving you the results so uh, speech to text conversion also this can text to speech also has been both vice versa right now we are having applications which can convert speech to text and text to speech also both are been working so uh, all these google assistant siri cortana alexa they are doing speech recognition whatever you say to alexa alexa play this song alexa has started played playing this song that means alexa understand your voice what are you saying it uh, understand uh, uh, your words okay and accordingly it searches uh, in your database this is a command given by you it searches in your database it fetch the results from its database according to the learning which alexa done and give you the results so speech recognition 
traffic predictions also. Google map. What is how Google Maps will give you the directions? How? What made a Google map to give you direction? Obviously, it's a learning behind that. Real time location, average time taken. It also show you the minimum distance, what path you need to follow. Obviously, there is an algorithm, there is a technique which has been followed by the Google to perform all these tasks. Okay, so obviously, uh, here real time location, average time taken, Google map is uh, helping you a lot to find the path of your journey. This has also been worked on the basis of your machine learning, traffic prediction, all this. This is because of the algorithms of uh, by machine learnings. Product recommendations, I've already told you about that. You're working on Alex, uh, Amazon, Netflix, whatever. Okay, you're choosing your products. Uh, and these apps, these applications, they are having uh, machine learning algorithms. They keep on learning by your activities. Okay, and next time they start recommending you. Okay, you, um, because they are, whatever you are scrolling, whatever you are clicking, they all are saving in their database. And then later on, they perform reasoning over it. And next time, they will give you the recommendations. Self-driving cars, I've already told you, self-driving cars. Okay, so without any uh, human uh, reinforced learning, that means understanding the environment, understanding the system, fetching the information of, from the system, updating your database, applying algorithm or applying a program, whatever being required. So cell driving cars will be uh, uh, using their own intelligence in which path I need to follow. Okay, and which path I shouldn't. Okay, so cell driving cars. It has been Tesla, the most popular car manufacturing uh, company has been working on self driving cars email spam and malware filtering i did told you about this thing that uh, we are having uh, supervised learning okay in which we are having a labeled data if we uh, in labeled data if we mark whether a uh, message is a spam whether email is a spam or not spam what kind of content it is okay everything if we are uh, being uh, knowing so See, when I was also doing my engineering and uh, my, my professor also asked Nirmal, there is an options available in the Gmail spam. How? How uh, it has been filtering that this is a spam and this is not a spam. At that time, I don't know much about all these stuff. So I said, okay, I will do something study and I will go to find out. Okay. So what kind of message should be kept in an inbox and what kind of message should be separated and kept in a spam this has been done by the gmail using machine learning only because their model has been trained by all this data what could be a spam or what could not be spam so all these things uh, blocking and all all those stuff has been done by your uh, on the basis of machine learning okay so multi some machine learning algorithms such as multi-layer perceptron decision trees neighbors classifier random forest uh, logistic regression they can perform email filtering and malware detection. They can do that. Okay, virtual person, uh, personal assistant. I already told you about the Google products. Okay, Google, Alexa, Cortana, whatever be they are, they are continuously monitoring your activities, saving your data. And accordingly, they are going to give you uh, whatever your expectations, they are going to give you the results. Online credit card fraud detection, online any kind of frauds, if you are available with the labeled data, that is, this also comes under your supervised learning only. If you are available with the labeled data, you can feed that particular data to your model, okay, which are going to perform the predictions for that. So you can use here uh, uh, your logistic uh, regression also, whether this is a fraud or not fraud. Okay, so you can make prediction also, you can make classification also, okay, with that. So uh, fake accounts, fake IDs, and all these can be done with the help of traditional machine learning algorithms also, and with the help of feed forward neural network that is under artificial neural network also. This can also be done with that thing. Stock market trading, trading. Okay, if you want to check out for the stock market, uh, that whether uh, the cost of the share will go up, whether we cost of share will be down. So this, we can perform the predictions. Okay, so again, we are having a labeled data. We are going to apply the supervised algorithm here, and then we can perform the predictions according to the data for the share market. Here, if you talk about the deep learning, then there is an algorithm called as long short term memory neural network that is called as LSTM. 
okay so this is basically a deep learning technique i am not going to talk about this thing right now uh, i i have already talked about that we can, uh, with the supervised learning we can perform the stock market uh, trading uh, analysis also whether the it is going to be high or whether it is going to be low in medical diagnosis also okay we are available as i told that if you are uh, available with a data set related to the brain tumor or breast breast cancer or whatever if you are available with the data we can perform your predictions and classification over that also okay automatic language translation a translation that means i uh, did mention you about google uh um, that means uh, right now also you perform the translation with various applications available uh, by different different uh, companies so if i talk about the google's gnmt that is google neural uh, machine translation we can perform the translation uh, from uh, of uh, your text into our familiar language this is been easily available easily available in your mobile phones also uh, text translation in any of the language okay and uh, this is this comes under the problem statement of natural language processing natural language processing so uh, in all of the products related to the google you can select your language in which you want this particular thing and it will help you a lot if you are um, a part of any different uh, anywhere if you want uh, to understand things in your language so obviously you can perform the translation with the google product google translator will be help you a lot okay so these are some applications related to the machine learning okay so remaining life cycle and other things we will study in the next class so shreyas how was it um it was really good sir um, um, the way you teach is